Hey guys, welcome to our Sometimes Tuesday Paint a Palooza. Um, we are here painting thrifted finds. If you're new here, uh, we're Zeb and Jamie from Jamie Ray Vintage, and we like to take thrifted items and upcycle them. I'm going to drop the link here in a little bit um, to jamierayvintage.com. That's where you can get all the paint and products as well as our painted finds. Um, and we just kind of paint on painted paloozas until our time is up. So today we have about an hour and about an hour until business coaching. Sometimes it's like two and three hours, just depends on how our Tuesday rolls. We have already been live for channel members and JRV subscribers in our private paid membership group. So if you're a part of that, check where you normally get your links and you can catch up with what we've been doing thus far. Cause we've painted about, um, we finished three and a half projects this morning already. So oh, this we're excited to get started. In. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hop on Facebook real quick and share the link to our Jamie Ray Vintage group. If you guys are on Facebook, um, be sure to request to join the Jamie Ray Vintage group because we have a private group that's not paid on there as well. And there's yeah, lots of free. fun stuff. Yeah. So um, there we are. All right. I'm going to just get to painting. I was going to pop the glass out of here, but it's glued in and it's stuck pretty well i don't want to break that glass so so this um do you already have a picture ready for this what are you going to put in that yes i have i have some pictures i'm actually i might have carried them back upstairs but i have some pictures that can go in here okay we've been really we've been using decoupage but we want to get more to like less ephemera type decoupage paper and more actual art for frames and things um, we'll still have the ephemera type decoupage paper. It's all kind of mixed and you have like florals and bees and words and old cursive and crusty old postage stamps from France, that sort of stuff. We still have that. Um, but we want to actually get to more of like art and printed canvases, things like that for, cause we thrift so, so much that we always have a frames and things to put stuff in. So. And, and we need a good source for that. So we're going to create our own. When you can't find what you want, you make your own. So I'm just painting this cute little um, recipe box. It was had pears on it. I think it was like $1.50. And I'm going to just coat it with tarnished pearl. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to coat it with our cottage colors. One of the things that I like to do is use, if I've got access to another white that's like thicker, I'll like throw down a coat of a white paint from DIY paint and then I'll put cottage color over the top of it and I usually can get better coverage faster. Cottage color, if you want all self-leveling, then just go straight cottage color, that's fine too. The nice thing is when I put the cottage color on there, it's already sealed and ready to go. Sometimes I get all my projects all the way finished and it gets time to seal them and then I never get it done. <laughs> so happen. this is kind of like a, I would say a yellowish cream color. I don't know what it's the camera's picking up because it is so bright out there. I almost want to do this live stream with my sunglasses on because we've got some snow on the other side of the road and the sun is out shining right on there. And it's like I'm looking at the sun, basically. Those baby blue eyes just can't handle it. I got they brown can't. eyes, so I'm... More... I grew up in Arizona and spent my youth like this. It's got, that's why you got good eye, so eye crinkles. Yeah, I got the I got the good smile lines around my eyes. We'll call them that. All right, I got one coat down. I'm gonna move this to the side so it can dry, and then I will get the cottage color on there. And then this is gonna get decoupaged on the sides. I think I'm gonna use some leftover of our cottage floral that we used for our video that we put up on Monday. We have a little bit left over. If you guys haven't watched it, we put up a video on Monday with um it's like a full it's a full length edited DIY. furniture video we got that up monday it's on youtube and facebook Start can you make finish. custom transfers we cannot just Not decoupage transfers. paper we do the decoupage all right i'm going For to draw all our transfer needs we rely on the iod sisters to make the designs and they do a pretty awesome job at that okay i just dropped the link to our website if you need it Let's see is there any questions just receiving we've just barely come on we've just barely yeah, started we're getting. just getting started first project and i think right the here. text just went out so if you guys get our text messaging um you should be getting a text on that as soon as i get a base coat on this shelf i will drop the link to text messaging so that way if you want to get texts and notifications from us 
we will put it on there. Doesn't we try to do it every time we're live, but occasionally technology doesn't work for us, so we do our best. Yeah, we were having a struggle this morning with the channel member live stream. It kept wanting to shoot verticals, so half of us was missing. It's fine. We got it figured out. Another thing that happens a lot too is like Caitlin sends a text for us. If it's like a non-scheduled live, then she's not always available. So sometimes they don't go out, but we do our best. We have so many things from Saturday to paint. So if, if we mentioned it was getting painted and you remember and you want to see what that's going to end up looking like, you might want to mention it and we'll see if we can get to it in this stream because... We're probably not going to have time to oh, paint everything no on the live there's no way stream. everything's getting painted like we're gonna paint, We're going to be painting all evening and maybe into the night. I've just found like lately the thrift stores haven't had as much like really good vintage type stuff, a lot more paint projects, which is fine because I'm up for the challenge. That's why we do what we do because I think a lot of people say, oh, we don't have good stuff at our thrift stores. Sometimes you don't, but sometimes it's just stuff that needs work. And that's like our forte. And we go to a lot of places. I remember when we went to New Mexico, people said there's no good thrifting in New Mexico. We found some really great stuff there. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just what you're looking for. I don't know. There are some areas where thrifting is pretty empty, but that's really not the thrift store's problem. It's because people just aren't donating, I would yeah. guess. Like they only have access to what is given to them. I don't know where all the stuff went, but that's how it are. So I think this was a recipe holder because there's a recipe on the back of this paper here it, or not recipe, um, savory menu, sandwiches on breadsticks. It was probably like harvest chicken salad, sliced turkey, banquet. barbecue pulled pork, or wedding. fresh seasonal fruit, spinach and artichoke dip. Fancy. So we had some questions. How was the cheer banquet? It was awesome. Um, Only minimal tears. Odelia do the new just DIY brushes away. clean up? Well, yes, they do. Um, pro tip though, if you are using cottage colors or any kind of sealer, wash your brush right away. Do not let um, the sealer dry onto your brush. I would also brush. say don't let it sit, like just dipping it in water. You need to like rinse it Yeah, out. you need to rinse it out. The bristles are really soft. So you need to take that into consideration. It's really great, like if it's a bonus because they're nice and soft, but if you use a sealer on them, you definitely want to wash them right away. Do not let them sit out. They work great with sealer, like they lay it down so smooth and flat. Yeah, and the DIY paint, because it's water soluble, it's not as critical, but if it's anything with a sealer or the primer, you definitely want to wash it right away. All right. Have we painted the rooster sign yet? We are not painting the rooster sign. Lots of people message us saying they didn't want it painted, and we had so many things the to paint. The person that bought it did not want it well, painted. Well, we did, I didn't even list that it would be painted. Because oh, gotcha. I was like, we have so much to paint. I know somebody's going to want this as is, so we sold it as is. Hold on. I'm going to drop the link. Oh, I already did that. Never mind. Scratch that. I already shared it to the group. Thank you guys if you're on Facebook for sharing. That helps out a lot. We picked four people last week to send some happy mail to. I think three out of the four have emailed us. And so we've got orders put in for them for their happy mail that we're sending to them. Remind me that I need to definitely sand this well because it has like some like. I'm just trying to be there. neat since this glue on the mirror or on the glass wasn't popping out. And I, I can always just scrape it off, but it's easier if you don't have to scrape off tons. What is the color I'm using? So I'm using Farm Fresh. It's a really great duck egg blue. It, I always think it's like a little bit like apothecary, only it's more blue. So apothecary is more green. Farm Fresh is more blue, a little bit of a smoky blue, which we always like. Um, and it's one of my favorite colors. People ask us how we pick what we're going to paint. We pick by whatever colors we have going on. So we'll use up an entire quart, and then when we go to the shop, we try to grab something We do different. have some Queen Bee over here. I know I did grab that. I don't know what we want to paint in Queen Bee, but I actually love rolling pin handles painted in Queen Bee. With, oh yeah, that is a good with a like a good clear wax. It really richens it up. All right. So we might do that. We might do some. We got some rolling pins over there. We might do the stamp trick. Paint oh. the handles. Kelly Ray says she enjoyed her Happy Meal. She's definitely a a big share of our stuff. And Cindy says hi from San Diego. Hi, Cindy. We're, we're going to be at Debbie's to San Diego Thursday. You got to dial up some warm weather for us because it has been so such a long, cold winter here in Utah. Abnormally, abnormal amounts of snow. Well, if we're ready for warm weather, don't you think the people of San Diego are ready? Because I mean, they're, they not, could just, they're not mentally prepared for this in San Diego for all the cold weather. Debbie's about if, to have a nervous breakdown. If they she could needs just some... like get the weather up to like 55, 60, that's going to feel like summertime to me. 
Because <laughs> it's 49 degrees out there right now on the sunny side of the porch. In the backyard, it's like a crisp 34. But on the front side, it says it's 49. And I was out there in my, my socks walking around on the driveway and it was great <laughs> so fun fact there's something green bleeding through on that oh because i sanded it i don't know yeah so i think i'm gonna i was gonna well, originally go, it right yeah well not the whole thing just the sides okay we're i set think that aside for a second. i think i may reconsider the center color on that because i don't want to deal with the situation that is that all right. all right i think I'm while going i to... have my tarnished pearl out i will go ahead and dry brush these you guys our giraffe sold the giraffe is gone it's getting shipped to new york this week jeffrey the giraffe is sold here's our little birdie pair it's supposed to be in the mid 60s on thursday but she doesn't know if we'll see the sun cindy i hope that we do but mid 60s sounds pretty good. So while I have this tarnished pearl out, actually I mean, not. Should I do tarnished pearl or should I do cottage color? I kind of like cottage color. What do you think? Um, tarnished pearl would probably be fine. You no, know I'm gonna. I know I asked you, but now I'm gonna go with my own opinion. I'm gonna do cottage color because I once I dry brush it, I don't want to have to seal it. There you go. That's the bonus. That is one of the reasons I do love dry brushing things like this with a cottage color because ain't nobody got time to come back. Oh. What are you using that with? I'm going to seal one? this and then I'm going to go gold over it and distress it back. I might wet distress it first, though. I'll use this brush. Hey, Bree. How's the weather in Kansas? That's where Bree lives, right? Kansas. I feel like everyone's warmer than us, except for like around the Great Lakes. <laughs> Well, everybody right. in the West has been cold. This was painted in aviary. We had a few repairs that we had to do. Um, did those with channel members. So this is all fixed and ready to go. Tested it with a battery. I'm just going to lightly distress this. And then we're going to come back with some gold. They voted in in uh, in the group, the that live stream, that they wanted to see the gold carry over into the green. So I've got my golden rule. It's like a gilding wax. And we'll we'll see what we can get going. But I want to seal it first. Where I would normally wax it, but we're running low on wax, so I'm just going to use Big Top. Give it's it not warmer seal. in Baltimore. Yeah, see, you know that's up north. It's in the mid 50s. Bree says. I was telling Zeb, I'm like, I need like warm weather because I need to clean out the garage and just spray a bunch of stuff. We always say we're going to get a spray booth set up, but does it happen? No. Right now, Harrington's truck is taking up. Or his Jeep is taking up when, all when his Jeep of ain't, the space. When in his the Jeep barn. ain't there, what's in the barn? And he's my tractor, but I can move the tractor in and out really that easily. That is true. Harrington's truck is incapacitated. He's dropping the transmission on it tonight, hopefully. I'll just leave it's this here. This will drive quick. Days. I'm like, hey, so uh, when do I get to move my tractor back in? Because it's going to smell a bunch. Only 40% chance of rain on Friday. Good, because we're planning on doing some junk in Friday. And we need good weather. We're excited just to last time we went to California, we took the kids. It was big fun, but you always need a vacation for vacation. Harrington's also supposed to be moving, but he has like no fire under his pants to get this Jeep fixed. Um, I don't think he has any fire in his pants to move because he lives in our house. And yeah. I don't here's think he's, the thing. I think he's thinking he can just like move out slow as he wants to. And I'm going to be like, bro, you, you either rent, get buddy. out or you're going to get charged rent again. <laughs> <laughs> Whether we're here or not, because we need him out and clean so that way we can get started on the Airbnb when we get back. Because we're we're going to Arizona and well, if the weather's not good, it's we're probably not gonna get much started. We've got to redo the roof. I don't want to do anything until that roof is completely redone. Well, I think we'll just do some galvanized tin on there. It's not that much roofing, like it's it's like two. 12 by Famous 12 sheds put words. together. It won't be that hard. <laughs> I'm like excited to do that, but kind of sad because I thought this was going to be the year we fin like finished a bunch of projects at the at our house. At our house, but we have not got. We were all ready to go on the basement, and we've not even we we not even got it all the way cleared out from 
the storage. Well, stuff I feel we like it needs there. to be warmer because we got to clear out the garage to clear out the basement. It's like a whole. I'm gonna chain be doing another craft kit before I even clean up from the last. I craft know kit we box. actually. What do you guys want to see in the next craft kit? Now keep in mind, guys, it has to ideas. fit in a box, and it cannot require too much assembly because people of varying degrees of craftiness get our craft kits. We were thinking about people wanted the rocking rooster, but it's like that's very design it's specific. Very specific for like farmhouse. I bet you could French country it out or do like some fun design. A boho on it. rooster. Look yeah. how cute this is. Okay, so we need ideas. Things. And we've done a lot of things. Like we've made a clock kit. Um, we've done corbels, a couple different styles of corbels. I was thinking too, we could do some sort of like wall art where you just take like a piece and you make it kind of look like shiplap. You know, you can drill, drill it in with your CNC. Mm -hmm. And then we do decoupage and we make it look old. I, I just, these are the thoughts that go around in my head. You see, are you seeing what I'm throwing down? And then maybe seal it with like a shinier finish. So it looks like art. Okay. You're not picking up what I'm throwing down. Art. Were you wanting a response from me? I was, that's, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were like looking there I mean, and moving your I mean, we're coming out with all this new decoupage paper. I feel like we're, it would be a good way to introduce rice paper. Oh, yes, Maybe we, we could are. send a couple of pieces so then they could pick which one they want to use with their design. And then they would get one for this project and one for another project. Because we usually send like a stencil or a brush or whatever, like something you can use again. But I think in this case, instead of doing that, we could just send them two pieces of the rice paper and they can do one for the project and then one for a later date. Or they can mix it I will think them. on how to make a something that you could do art on okay. I'll, I'll think on that all right that Kelly would actually Ray be cool says she loves that sweet um let's see gina says i love farm fresh it's my accent color decoupage on canvas would be easy and nice i don't know how that would work but we're gonna we're gonna think about it all right i need another project my chickens are I got, done. I got all the projects. My over recipe there for box you. is drying. The shelf is drying. I'm not touching that elephant because I don't know what you're doing. Has with this it. clock sold or is this still up for grabs? What? This clock. I don't know. I know these lamps sold. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to Ziploc baggy this and tape it up to the top. And then I think I'm going to paint this farm fresh and do like a white dry brush on the details. Okay, sealed up distress then i'm going to come back with the gold wax i could have just gone with the wax before but then when i clear wax it later it probably would have pulled a lot of that gold wax off because that's clear wax can sometimes work like an eraser if you want it to and i don't have enough clear wax on hand we have a bunch of like odds and ends little leftovers of clear wax to get a good wax job on this whole piece so Liquid sealer it was. It's going to work out great. Got a razor blade to clean up this edge on the glass in a little bit, but I'll wait until we're all done with the gold. And I'm going to set this up here for now. You could probably move my roosters, and then my shelf will be done in a minute, and then we'll have more space on the drying rack. That's okay. I'm going to paint this elephant. Otherwise known as our kitchen stove. <laughs> How many people paint in their kitchen? I can't be the only one. Do you have the crinoline? I have tarnished pearl. Actually... Actually, actually, actually what? Hold, please. Hold, please. What do we? I think I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this look like that Fleur de Lis architectural piece that I did and then do gold just on the tips where these are broken off. Yes. Oh, this black. So pigmented. I know it's. The black and the red. I'm just trying to make sure I don't get too much paint on the cord. If I get some paint, it's fine. I'll just wash it off. Do we have a little brush? Can I use this one? I'm going to, yeah, I can wash it out. I'm going to be using it on the gold, but that's oh, fine. Okay. I just need to, I think it'd be easier to try to get around this part if I just use a little brush. And then I can use a bigger brush.
So this is just plaster and it's hollow. So not quite sure how we're going to ship that if it sells online. Has this already sold? Mm -hmm. Oh, the elephant's already gone too. It's going to be a box within a box. So I don't, I don't want full coverage on this because I want the dark to come through. So I'm going to kind of do more than a dry brush, but not quite full coverage with the Farm Fresh. I will let that dry. Then I will come back with the dry brush on just the high details because I want some of that dark peeking through, almost like a dark wax would be. I think it would be the best way to do this. This is super detailed. When I white wax this, this is going to be crazy. Skeleton Key is definitely not close to Farm Fresh. They both it's have a blue hue, hue, but Skeleton Key is definitely more gray. Like in the right lighting, if you look at Skeleton Key, it doesn't even pull blue hardly at all. You mostly see the gray. Yeah, it really And vice sense. versa, in other lighting, it looks more blue. So I feel like we're speed painting over here. We're like... Got to get them all done. Well, that's kind of what we are doing. I'm getting paint all over my shirt. I said I was going to keep this shirt. The paint, paint free. slapping is real, folks. But you'll <laughs> notice we get it on and then we come back through and we smooth our brush strokes out. Also, the use of a good brush really saves a lot of our, uh, our painting issues. It just goes on there. And then the DIY paint is also a flat paint. So unless you're like really concerned about the actual thickness of the brush strokes, it's all going to have the same sheen. Whereas a lot of times if you paint with like a glossy paint, if you don't have it all go in the same direction and lined up just right in the same thickness, you can get a lot of highs and lows in a glossy finish. Whereas this is just going to like, this is already drying because it's so flat and Porous. I have like no issues. It doesn't like, I can't even see brush strokes on it. So just something to keep in mind, ease of use. Oh. A good brush helps, but some of it's just the good paint too, because it's a flat. That's why sometimes when I'm spraying it, like some of our older videos, our spray videos, people are like, you're all over the place with the your spray gun. The elephant would look more natural painted gray. It will look gray because yes. it's going to white wax it. I am going to white wax it. It'll come back gray, but I wasn't going for a natural look. We, uh, like a lot of times this might have gone pink or something. A pink elephant. But yes, I I feel like a pink I elephant agree. sounds like kind of psychedelic, cycled, psychedelic, psychedelic, like um, the Grateful Dead. <laughs> What's that show with the train in the circus and you get the pink elephant? Dumbo? Yes, there you go, Dumbo. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. One more question. What brush would you recommend for a big hutch that has lots of detail? Um, I would say a brush like this works really well. It's angled. It's not too thick. I don't like super fat. I wouldn't use that. This one, I was going to show in contrast. This one is good for detail, but it's so big. If you have fine detail, it's not as good. Yeah. I like these brushes, like the flat angled, because you can just kind of in the detail and then smooth it out. Because even if your hutch is a lot of detail, chances are you also have a lot of flat surface and you're going to need to brush So this that. is the Klingon, I can't read the name. Caitlin it's a help. piggy cutting board. Is, is Caitlin on right now or is she yeah, not on? She's not on. I'll drop a link to the website the here. The F30 is what it is. Or maybe it's not. This one's wider than the F30. It's got an angle on it. FA40 is what it is. This one's weird because a cord comes from the top. So I have to like tape it up. This one had too much paint on it to read it. But yeah, the FA40 Klingon is great for big pieces. Thank you. Christy says she adores my shirt. You can actually get it on the website. I'm going to drop just the website here and then I will see if I can find you a link for the thrift haul. So if there's anything that hasn't been painted, um, this is where you would buy that. So there's the thrift haul. And then I bet you this shirt is here. Yep, it's right at the top of this one. So I'm going to drop our graphic tee link for you too.
So at some point, I think this ended up at the thrift store because its tusks are broken. We sanded them. And yeah, we sanded those down and I'm going to put a little gold on the end of them to uh, kind of simulate like a, like a working elephant. I think it did it twice, but here you go. Graphic tees. This is one of our, new, our newer designs. So it's kind of, if you sort new to old, it's at the top. Yeah, so Odelia, Odil our daughter, is a senior. And yesterday we went to her last cheer banquet. She was a little emotional. I, surprisingly enough, was not. I think it'll, maybe it'll hit me eventually. But I just am, am enjoying the journey, right? Like, she's not moving far away. She's just doing different things with her life. I have loved cheer. I have loved dance. And maybe she's not my last. So maybe it's different once you're last. I don't know. But Eliza has tryouts for high school cheer. She's going to be a like, freshman next year and they're already trying out in like two weeks. So yeah. we're like out of, we're, we're back in the frying pan. <laughs> yeah. Up to the next thing going on. And my boys are doing seven on seven football and Odelia is going to be doing, um, she'll be going to college in the fall. She's going to be living at home still. We'll see what she gets interested in, what job she gets going. Like, I just think, for me, my favorite thing is whatever my kids are doing, right? So, like, I'm super into cheer and football and all those things. But I don't love those things because I love those things. I love those things because that's what my kids are doing. Like, so if whatever, we have a grandkid that's into swimming or ballet yeah, whatever or whatever, next, we'll go to all that, too. Whatever the next thing that they're doing is, that's the next thing that I'm excited about. So, I guess, like, I'm sad because she's sad, but I'm not sad because cheer is over. It's like the natural sequence of events. And it's fun to watch your kids do new things. And then eventually your grandkids. And if you have kids like us, they're always doing new things because we're always trying something new. <laughs> we keep our parents on their toes with all of our ideas and whatnot that we have going on. I actually shared in uh, Instagram the other day and Facebook and stories. Uh, it's Kermit the Frog and he's looking outside. and He's like, my parents who wanted me to be a doctor or an attorney, but instead I sell other people's junk, <laughs> other people's garbage. <laughs> Which my parents thought I was going to be an attorney. So that's why it's really funny. Because <laughs> I said I was going to be an attorney. But instead I got married, had babies, and now I sell junk. Well, you used to do, uh, what's the forensics? Mock trial. Mock trial Public forensic. I did competitive speaking, competitive mock trial. We went to state a few times. Didn't ever take state, but we did pretty good. I know, I'm a big fat nerd. People always ask me, like, did you cheer? I'm like, well, kind of. I cheered at a very small school in junior high, but it was nothing like what my girls are doing. Like, it was simply cheering. We didn't even have a football team in junior high to cheer for. Like, we cheered for whatever sport was going on. Basketball, track, soccer. And you didn't have to. I could do a somersault, somersault a cartwheel, and the splits. These girls are, like, throwing their bodies all over the place doing stunting. There was no stunting happening. <laughs> Maybe Calexico, California, De Anza Junior High is where I went. Maybe they now have stunting, but they didn't when I was a girl. We we're just happy to have a cheer squad at all. All right. The elephant, full coverage. It was drying out because this plaster is so porous as I painted it. It's still a little cool to the touch, but like not smearing when I touch it. Katie Dobson, her daughter, she's on here. Her daughter does drill which is just as intense in utah oh, man, as chair crazy. maybe even more intense drills wild like i watch those mm -hmm. girls and they're like coming out and they're like i know marching single file Five, for the count. Four, three two <laughs> one and then they leave i actually did drill team too but again no. i'm like man whole another level in Colexco versus utah <laughs> uh, melissa says that's awesome though because what you do now you have speaking to the people skills so I actually did impromptu speaking was what I competed at the most, like my individual event. Um, and I was pretty good at it. <laughs> it would give if you, you can't tell, she's, she's been practicing for live streams her whole life. <laughs> <laughs> she actually, when we're filming edited videos, if I catch her on the first take, that's always her best take. If we have to redo it for whatever reason. Want to do this block too? Yeah. It, uh, it's never quite as good as her very first one. It is true. So the, what they do with them, it's National Forensics League. You can look it up. Some schools still have it. Um, we did it in Arizona. 
And if you, you get a topic and then you get five minutes, oops, you got to fix the screen. It's not recording. No. Oh. And it, it's, it paused. Sorry, guys. He's going to fix that. It paused. That's not good. Let's see if we can. Um, the pause is. Okay. I Hold on, guys. We're going to keep talking. That. We're having a struggle. Hope we don't have to buy a new camera. Oh, that was just, man, we might. That this was like $3,000. Or I might just have to take it in. Hold on, I'm going to turn it off. You can't take it in. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's not turning off, so we're going to kill the power. Sorry, we're working on it. Hopefully you can still hear us. We we had shirts that said forensics are not just dead bodies anymore. Because <laughs> most people think of like police forensics, and it's not police forensics. Oh, I didn't realize this had texture. Sorry, guys. The um, It's coming back. All right, we're back. All right. They can hear. Can you guys see now? If you can't see... You might have to hop out, but give it a minute. It should refresh. It's already on the stream. Yeah, you're good. So we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're back. They just, they might see us frozen for a second as it keep, keeps going through. Um, uh, the, the camera is getting worn out. It is almost three years oh, old. Oh, Rashonda was in NFL too. She did pros and comedy. I love it. I have a horrible memory. So mm -hmm. that's why I did impromptu because I can't remember crap, but I can make crap up like nobody's business. I love it that Rashonda was in NFL because nobody ever knows what it is. I'm actually surprised they don't have it here because Utah has competitive everything. Sorry, guys. It's got texture, and so I've got to sand it off so it doesn't come through. There we go. So this is like a foam formed shelf and they've got like a hard plastic shiny plastic finish and maybe even it's just enamel over the top but this is this diy paint's doing its job it's covering pretty well with one coat i'm not getting too much streak i will have to come back and touch it up after it's dry but i think with the white wax we'll show you here in a minute this i'm using gonna be sorry good. um farm fresh somebody asked and then he I use tarnished pearl on that little box in the back that looks kind of whitish gray. And I use French millinery on this little sign. And there was there. another question. Can you explain the sealing process? I want to use uh, cottage color on your steel door. So I would clean your door really good, scuff it up with some steel wool, especially if it's shiny, and then um, paint it with cottage color. And then you can, you, you can do one of two things. You could try just doing like three or four coats of cottage color, but if it's in direct sunlight, you're going to want to use a UV sealer that's water-based. I don't know a brand off the top of my head that's awesome, but if you go to your like hardware store, they can help you. Um, we are planning on painting the front door at our shop, church shop. Which gets, it's facing west. Um, so it with gets cottage a lot color to see how it holds up, but I just, I haven't personally done it yet. So I don't want to say you don't need a sealer um, until I've done it. I like to try everything first. I can say that I have painted a few things that have been outside with college color that have been fine. And then there's a few things that I haven't done uh, the proper prep for and they haven't done well. So what I'm finding with cottage color is if you want it to be good outside, you've got to do the prep, the sanding, the cleaning, possible priming if it's something that's really slick. And that's really anything like outside. Because it just takes hard. a beating, right? Whether you're getting lots of rain or you're getting lots of sun, dry, windy conditions, like the sun is as hard on things as overcast and rainy all the time. Yeah. So that's what I would suggest. Hopefully we can get to that front door here relatively soon and then we can give you guys better information. I can say that we have like this milk can that we painted with a shiny metal bowl that we turned into a planter and it's held up great. We painted metal chairs. They held up okay, but we also didn't prep them. And so and the water sat, the on water them sat on them and that was a good, but like a door like water's not going to sit on it. I'm not going to be able to paint anything else right here. I'm just going to have to paint black. <laughs> yeah. Do I actually have to seal metal or wood projects if they won't be outside? Um, if you're painting them with cottage color, no, because they have a built-in sealer. If it's DIY, then yeah, because it doesn't have a sealer on it. Although I can say that I have done a few projects with DIY for myself personally that I haven't sealed, but that's just because I understand the risks involved. Because if you get DIY paint wet, you can pretty much always reactivate it. So that's something to keep in mind. 
So you need to get wax it or seal it if it's just plain DIY paint. So that way it makes it not water soluble. All right, so I just have a couple little streaks on this, but I don't want to overwork it. So I'm going to set it aside, let it dry. The clock is almost dry, so we'll get to doing the gold soon on that. I'm going to move your. We painted paint our floors with one coat of the gray skies. I guess at the, the stage over at the shop. Ah! Did you get some hair? Yeah. I didn't want to paint the inside of this. Yeah, anyway, we painted the stage and it's held up great. Admittedly, we haven't really scrubbed it much. <laughs> I shouldn't admit that. Okay, I'm going to go get some. I'm just going to clean this up with a rag. Out. I don't feel like painting the inside of this. Here we go. Do you find that sealers always darken the color of chalk paint? Um, if the paint is porous and has a lot of clay and chalk in it, it will darken it. It's just like when you have dirt that's all dried out, it's like light. And when you get it wet, the dirt gets dark because of the clay in the dirt. It's the same thing with. DIY paint. So when you paint it on, it'll dry lighter when the liquid leaves it. And then when you seal it, it's like putting liquid back in it and it gets darker. And then when it dries, it'll generally dry somewhere between the dry color and the sealer when it's fresh color, because it will tone back a little bit. Case in point, let me show you. I did this earlier. I was going to show it to you guys anyways. These are from the thrift haul. And you can see that this is the wet farm fresh and it's darker. This is farm fresh that's wet and it's been sealed and it's dried. So this is definitely lighter than this when it's wet, which when this was fresh sealer, this got pretty dark and it dried somewhere in between. However, this color is darker than when it dried with no sealer. Does that make sense? So hopefully that helps. We can kind of see here, this is the light dried color of the farm fresh. Here's the wet color still. And then that one is a sealer that's dry and it's somewhere in between. Um, my floors, we just painted them with white floor paint. Um, they're not holding up amazingly well. Initially we painted them with Sweet Pickens milk paint and sealer. I actually think that held up better than the white floor paint. Yeah, the white floor paint gets real dull if it gets scuffed anywhere. Um, and so if you are particular that your floors need to be pristine, I don't suggest painting your floors white. It really doesn't matter what you use. They'll never be perfect. But also our floor moves a lot. So we get cracks yeah. in between all the boards. But like every so. floor we've ever seen that was painted white, whether it was ours in a Airbnb, even in social media, I'll like blow it up and check it. And they've got like scuffs and scratches. It's just the nature of a painted floor. I like them. I, I don't mind. There are a few areas that are not my favorite. I wish my kids were better at cleaning them. But I mean, you can have lots of things in this world, but kids just do what they do. And I'm not willing to stand over and like hound them and make them clean it perfectly, you know? Okay, so I'm going to come back to my first project here. And I'm going to move this project. To the drying zone. Apparently, everything's going fine fresh today. All right, Zeb, we need to make a decision. Do you see this bleed through? Oh. Yeah, it's like green. So I'm thinking. Are you just gonna? Are you just? I'm gonna, gonna paint this white and it? decoupage it, but I'm gonna have to use a different one because I I wanted to do this and do it all white, but I don't want to deal with that bleed through. So I'm gonna pick a different paper. Okay. There's a bunch over there. You just gotta pull them out. So this is one of, we have this paper in a 20 by 30 and we're going to shrink it down. That's the goal this spring is we're shrinking down a lot of our current designs and we're also doing a bunch of new designs. The reason we want to do our own printing is because we want to control, like I, we can't afford to do like 20 new designs. That would be like $25,000. No, more like 35. 35,000. Because we have to order so much in each design of the big papers so we want to we want to do a lot more designs so we're going to do these smaller papers and can see if we can control like how many we get because realistically we're probably not going to sell a thousand of some of these designs but it's fun to have them available if we want to sell 
10 of them or 15 or 20, you know? Well, we might over a few years. Yeah. But I also don't want to store it for a few years and be out that overhead. So I'm painting this part white because I'm going to decoupage it. And then I'm going to come back and paint the rest a different color. I wanted a nice bright white underneath. All right, I'm going to heat gun this. And then I will go ahead. Um, I use D black DIY paint on my kitchen table and sealed with Debbie Sealer and it's body. I let it cure. What should I do? So what I would suggest, there's a couple things. Kitchen tables are notoriously greasy. So your spotty could be the sealer wasn't applied super evenly, which is easy to do, or there was grease that you didn't know about. Even if you clean it, sometimes there's just grease that's all the way through. So you have a couple of options. Um, one is you can prime it to seal in those grease spots. Um, another one is you could just repaint it black. And then when you go to put your sealer on, put some black paint in the sealer and that'll darken up your sealer. If you're absolutely like, if you have big splotches that are like round circles, that's, I would say I'm 99% sure that that is bleed through. In which case your best option is going to be an oil-based primer or DIY salvation solution, a couple coats, let it dry completely, then paint it black. The thing is that black chips off, which paint will chip off. I don't care what you do with it, it will chip off. Um, you could see that white underneath. So you might wanna consider using uh, the clear salvation solution instead of the white that would be my suggestion so hopefully that helps seal all that in don't then, be frustrated then, it's uh well you can be frustrated yeah. but like, don't you tell just her know that build. we've we've also been del dealing with exactly what you're describing and learned the hard way several times oh, not just pretty. the first time <laughs> so you use french millinery yeah french millinery and then i'm going to come back i think i have enough clear wax for this small piece i'll just clear wax this. so now that i've thought it through i'm going to say salvation solution in clear two coats let it dry completely paint it black let that dry completely and then when you go to put your sealer on if you're using a liquid sealer put some black in the sealer that'll tint the sealer black and that's going to give you a smoother appearance hopefully that i know there's a lot of steps but that would be my best bet. Without being there, I can't tell you for sure. And I feel like if you follow that, you should be fine. Let your salvation solution dry overnight and do two coats or 24 hours, even better. Because you really want that to dry and cure up to lock in all that bleed through. Um, if DIY paint has gone stinky, does it go away when you sealed on a project? Yes. Yeah. As soon as it dries, it dries out, it's gone. It's natural. So chances are got contaminated by something. We just had some old school that was stinky and we used the whole cord up, no problems. Yep, it happens, it's all natural. It had been sitting in there for a long time and we probably used some sealer, or dipped another brush or something. Um, Christy, yes, go ahead and email info at jamierayvintage.com or I think we have it set up to notify you when back in stock. If it has that button, you can click that. Um, and I will try to remember when we get off this live video to ask Ivy to order more. We can get more. More what? Of these shirts. Oh, did they already sell out? Um, just a few sizes. <laughs> Kathy says, I like when things are real life distressed like your floors. Well, th then you'd like our whole house. It's real life distressed. I'm just drying this because I'm going to paint the rest of it um, farm fresh. And I don't want to get white paint smeared in with my farm fresh. So I'm kind of really focusing on these edges. I could have just painted the whole thing farm fresh and decoupaged it, but the decoupage paper always does best with a white background. It makes it brighter. All right. Thank you for sharing, Melissa. Christy says, awesome. All right, I'm gonna keep going here and get this painted and hopefully get this decoupaged. We have about 15 more minutes and then we've got to leave to get prepped for our business coaching. Short paint of Palooza. Yeah, it's a short paint of Palooza, but we can show you um, what we've finished thus far. All right, so this is that little frame and the smaller decoupage paper. We have this big, this flower on the 20 by 30 is like that big around. <laughs> so it would have, covered that whole thing, just the flower, but you can see I snuck in a couple little butterflies. 
Um, it's still, it's rice paper. So it's got a little bit of the, uh, the rice fibers in there. What I don't know. I'm not sure how they make it <laughs> to be honest, but we've been playing around with probably 20 different types of paper to see what works best, what prints best, what the color holds on best. Um, we're going to be using archival inks. So yeah, it'll be good stuff. We're excited about it. Excited to get the product to you guys. Um, coming manufactured in the good old US of A. The paper actually manufactured is manufactured in Lehigh, Utah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the paper comes from Japan. Yes. It's a Japanese rice paper that we found that we like the best, but it will be printed and manufactured here in the USA. So let me know if you guys think this is upstairs better. in the loft to be more specific. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So if you're wondering why I painted the whole thing white and now I'm doing a farm fresh, I wasn't planning, I was planning on keeping it white, but we have this weird color, green color coming through that I know won't come through the farm fresh. And so rather than trying to like prime it and fight the bleed through, I'm just gonna work with it and I changed gears. When you are thrift flipping, if something is fighting against you and you're trying to make it something it's not, you will not make any money because you'll just spend all day long fight, like trying to catch the bleed through. For me personally, a $20 recipe box or how much ever I charge for this, maybe $28.95, is not worth spending hours priming trying to stop bleed through. So rather than use the paper I was going to and keep it all white, I'm now switching to farm brush. I'm going to decoupage the sides with this paper and the areas that had the bleed through, which were across the front, it's not gonna come through my farm brush. If it was a grease bleed through, that's another story that you gotta deal with. That's gonna keep coming through. Grease will, is like the black. Or wood tannins. You wouldn't think you'd have to deal with bleed through with black, but grease will come through black for sure. All right, I'm just gonna get this in It here. just makes it look like it's always wet and everything else dries out and you're like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's no bueno. And I'm not worried about full coverage because I'm gonna distress this a little. Oops, some of the white was wet, dang it. All right, did not do clear wax underneath this. This is going straight on the DIY paint. I almost dropped that. And I'm not worried if I get a little bit of the farm fresh where I'm going to decoupage, it's okay. I'm just trying to make sure that the majority of it is white. And I might come back with white wax too. Farm fresh and white wax is really pretty. So I've been loving these Zebra round brushes for waxing. And I don't, they're inexpensive enough. Like if they get ruined from the wax, um, or uh, we let it sit in there and we got to soak them and things. I'm not sad. Yeah, the Zebra, it's not a super expensive brush. It's, it's stiff enough and soft enough at the same time to apply the wax really well and still get in all the details. All right. I think this is just the Zebra round. How can you tell if there would be blue through before painting? Because it was white. Oh. Um, this I couldn't see the green, but sometimes like the dresser that we did on Monday, we knew there would be bleed through because we sanded through the original finish and I knew that the tannins would come through. So it was just that or if it's mahogany or cherry or whatever. And if if you can keep the original finish intact, usually it won't bleed through, but it's always a possibility. You can never know 100%. That's part of the fun of these projects it's kind of like how doctors are practicing <laughs> right they don't they always tell oh i'm i have a medical practice i would i should tell people i have a junking practice like i don't ever know for sure what's going to happen like it is what it is i'm just going to really make sure these sides are dry because this is where i'm going to dig a project i might actually even have you do it i'm not painting the inside of this because it has a really sweet inscription Normally, I probably would paint the inside of the top, but somebody made this for their daughter. Okay, that's dry. I missed two sides. I'm decoupaging them. Cindy said, missed a side. I sure did. It's okay. We never send them out like that. But it is true. Sometimes we do this whole side. Frames are the worst when you're painting frames. I recently purchased my DIY paint from Sarkis, absolutely what I bought, Pedico Peak and Farm Fresh. Oh, yes, those colors are very pretty. 
I love Farm Fresh and Petticoat Pink. Such springy colors. All right, so liquid patina. I can get this. Do you want me to cut this to fit, or are you just going to put it on and what do you think? Um, cut it a little smaller. Like, just not the whole thing. Yeah, well, obviously, you don't want to work with this giant piece. We're going to do one on each side here. I'm going to bring this elephant close. I think you guys are going to be uh, pleasantly surprised at how the black with the white wax is now looking a lot more elephanty. 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 It does. It's very elephanty. I'm going to trim up this side here because I want to get a majority of the flower on there. Okay, and I got. That's good. Oh no, my brushes. I gotta clean this. My brush is all farm freshed. It's freshed out. I always like to think of display when I'm doing it. Like I want to get as much of the colorful part of this floral on here. So I'm cutting it down a little bit. So that way I can get a lot more color on there. Um, Gloria says she loves how the elephant turned out. Okay, I think that's good right there. I'm just gonna crease it here and then I know how much to cut off the top. All right, I'm ready for you. Okay. Swab. Uh, did I use exterior DIY paint? So yes, I did. We have sealed it now with exterior paint. When we first painted our front doors, we did DIY paint. I would seal them with an outdoor sealer. All right. So this is going to settle down, right? This is still a little splotchy because paint's been curing for what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and the wax is fresh. I just put it on. But so little black dress and then white wax. And then the gold, um, golden rule, it's basically a gold gilding wax um, from DIY, just on the tips of the tusks there, because they're broken. So we're working, like Jamie said, we're gonna work with the piece. Could I make tusks and spend hours doing that? Yes, but it's not worth it on this piece. And would they be sturdy? Probably not. I feel like I plastic. would do it if I thought they would survive, but I just thought they'll just keep breaking, so. So pretty, pretty cool. Oh, what I was going to say about the front door, uh, if you use DIY paint, just use an exterior sealer for doors. And if you're doing a darker color, like a black or whatever, same thing applies like the table advice I gave, put a little bit of that black paint or that dark paint into your sealer and tint it, and then you get a much better, nice finish. Um, also, if it's in direct sunlight, you might want to put a tarp over it or whatever, because you don't want it when you're sealing it, you don't want it to dry too fast if that makes sense, because you'll like, it'll start pulling. All right, you helped me with, I'm helping you with your project. I need you to help me with What do you mine. want to do? I need, I was gonna do gold just kind of along this crack, maybe inside here, up along this, um, you know, anywhere there's- I feel like this brush is too detail. big for that. Maybe, might be too big. And I'm gonna decoupage. Got it. This brush is a little bit more of an angle. I don't even know where it came from, but I'm gonna use this one. Where um, so that scissors? goes on the other side. This oh, one other side. on that side. Okay, I'm like, this is cut backwards. Yeah, sorry. I was just gonna okay. say there's a right and, and a wrong do side. We have liquid patina out. Yes, we do. Do we have a brush that's clean? That's clean. Uh, here, I can that, use this one right here. That one that actually will work perfectly. Just make sure as soon as you're done that you I'm wash put it. it in some water. If you have the new, if you're going, I shouldn't say if you have because I know you don't have them because we're waiting on them to be delivered. These but are our sample brushes. When you get the um, DIY brushes, if you use any kind of sealer, cottage color, make sure you wash them right away. Do not just let it sit. That's wet in that crack, so I'm not going to be able to do that crack. Oh, okay. This is the DIY gold gilding wax that we carry it on our jamierayvintage.com. And Zeb already sealed this. So once I'm done with this, we don't have to do anything else. 
I find when I'm doing delicate work like this, if I hold my finger out, it kind of helps guide my brush. I don't know that it actually works, but. It's like it balances out. All right, I was gonna wet cut that, but I think I'll just let it dry and we'll just sand that edge. Yeah, it'll be fine. We have about five minutes, so we should be able to, you can just hurry him a little bit. I'm not trying to rush him, just letting you know. Well, I'm just hurrying because we want to show him. We also have another piece over there that's done that we'll show you. We finished that yeah. one on the channel video, the member video. We did, um, and I did make an outline already for business coaching. Sometimes, sometimes I can't keep my thoughts straight, so it's easier. If I know I'm going to go live beforehand, I like to make an outline for business coaching so I don't make sure, make sure I don't forget anything. My iron is still really low, and so my brain just doesn't always function the way that I want it to. I say the wrong words a lot. We did this short and we said nativity and everybody keeps correcting me on how to say nativity. I'm like, clearly you haven't watched me because I miss say like, I don't know that nativity is wrong. Well, it's, I guess it's nativity. nativity. I don't think that's I right. I call it a nativity. I don't think that's right. Like I'm going to call, I'm going to call. No, gonna, I've never call called it malarkey? nativity a day in my life. Uh, I don't know. Maybe out, maybe if you're somewhere else, but out I mean, West, the dialect is nativity. <laughs> what happens when you're, you're from Boston? Pock, the call, and the yod. I yeah. mean, that's just like a dialect, right? That's what I tried to tell them. I'm like, Utah has its own dialect. And well, uh, even as a kid, I was born in New Mexico, spent a couple years in California, mostly raised in Arizona. I, that's how I've said it. <laughs> I don't know. Barbara says it the way that, that I do. This is aviary on the clock. And then we just sealed it with clear wax. I did a little short the other day and I used aviary and white wax. And that was really pretty. It's in the shop right now. Very springy. All right. I'm going to give that a second to dry. Maybe I'll go pop that out in the sun so that we can, well, we do only have like five minutes. Can you heat gun it or is it too? <laughs> I'm worried if I heat gun it, it'll, it'll bubble. bubble. Yeah. Okay. You guys see what I'm doing there with the gold? Oh, that gold is looking good. We'll show you to you up close. Well, it's nice because it brings in the gold from the clock. And once it's all cured up in about an hour or so, we will clean up the glass. I just like to let it dry really good before I do that. All right. I'm going to heat gun it a little and we'll see. Cross your fingers. Just do it really far away. That's Cross your fingers. Get this in water. Yeah, that's still wet in there, so I'll have to wait. You did really good with your little pinky. A little pinky? Holding your pinky out. My, right, your, my pinky's your, still out. Your even stabilizer when pinky? Yeah. Off-label use, let your stuff dry out. Zeb was using DIY's liquid patina. Crystal clear chandelier. I'm going to drop a wet, a link to all the DIY paint and finishes. Why is that not? I don't know why that's not looking where I want to. Hold on. Hold, please. Here's the DIY paint. And then I'll get finishes in a minute. It's nativity in Washington. All right, here's the paint link. This summer jet blue is 479 from JFK to Paris. What? That's pretty good. Is that not working? Let me try it again. I don't know why it didn't leave a space. There's the link if it wasn't working. And then let me get the sealers. All right, so as this dries, like this, this is 18 pound. This is one of our big papers that's 20 by 30. Um, and so it's very thin, almost, almost like a really fine tissue paper. Um, and so it can get wrinkles when you get it wet. Just know that there's a couple different methods you can use to iron it. Um, 
if you're doing something old that might be susceptible to bleed through, just know that when you iron it, it's probably not the paper that discolored unless you burned it, but it's pulling bleed through through your paint and your finishes and things. So just be aware of that. We've ran into that trying to uh, get it all nice and neat. And You can iron it. We like the distressed look, so I just go yeah, with we it. We just leave the wrinkles on there. Ain't nobody got time for perfection. I feel like it's a, like a cottagey warm feel when things aren't perfect. Well, I always see people's perfect houses and sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe I could live like that. I'm like, I just, I don't live that kind of life. Nope. I, we're, we fly by the seat of our pants and sometimes a lot, the house is a hot mess. And so if things are like distressed and a little imperfect to begin with, just one, it's like a light, it's a lifestyle choice. That's what it is. So I don't remember if Jamie told you because I was doing my own project over here, <laughs> but she left this white so that it, the decoupage paper would be brighter underneath. Looks like we're going to have to distress a little bit. It's not I'm doing kind of what would be like a wet cut, but <laughs> not quite. We'll let it dry. We'll it was sand like a wettish we'll, dry cut. We'll, ma we'll make we'll it we'll work. we'll distress it in. Might need another layer of right. um, liquid patina on there. Here's the clock. Oh, the clock is great. We'll clean up that glass. It'll be done and finished. Oh, hold on. Let me. Let's what see is if that? We can keep going. All right, show them again, Jamie. It was it was off and not focusing. So what, we still need to clean the glass, yep. and then you want to show them that big flirt you did. Yep. So here's this little piece. We still have to clean up the edges. We'll come back with some sandpaper distress, and it'll all look good. And none of my farm fresh stuff is finished. It's all base coated. But after our, our business coaching live, I will come back. I will try to do a short. So if you guys are not looking for our short form content, if you look up Jamie Ray Vintage and Reels or Shorts um, on YouTube, I, t I try to take, once I get it all painted, I usually do a pan of all of our thrift flips painted so you guys can see them. This is that big navy blue fleur-de-lis architectural salvage looking piece. Um, and now we painted, I did the same thing I did with the elephant. I painted it with the little black dress, white waxed it, wiped it back. No gold on this one. This is what the customer had said that they wanted. We don't normally take requests, but I was like, well, that sounds like it'll be easy because it was already dark. So yeah, they turned out great. If you guys want to shop along, go to jamierayvintage.com. All the items are there. If you have any questions, you can email info at jamierayvintage.com. We have Caitlin. She's a full-time customer service rep for us. Um, and if you like this video, be sure, to, be, sure, be sure to hit the share button, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Bye, you guys. Have a great day. And we will see you tomorrow for Waste Not Wednesday. Waste Not Wednesday, bright and early. It might be more painting junk. <laughs>